we have a very very interesting topic at hand today one that has several real life applications one that you've already learned the topic i'm alluding to is trigonometry let's see if we can actually measure the height of a peak or for simplicity instead of the peak let's start with a pole so let's say i have a long pole here and i need to measure its height now for the sake of simplicity i'm going to assume that i am actually standing inside a hole of sorts and the ground is at my eye level you'll soon realize why this is important so the ground is at my eye level so the base of the pole starts at my eye level and the pole goes on further up from there now we need to measure the height of this pole how do we do that do we see a triangle anywhere here actually we do see one side right the pole looks like a nice straight line which is why i picked a pole instead of a mountain we need two more lines right or two more sides to form the triangle if you join the pole to my eye if you join the pole to my eye that could be the second side of the triangle this is nothing but the distance on the ground how far away i am from the pole now imagine me looking up at the pole and imagine the ray of light that is touching the top end of the pole and reaching my eye if you were to imagine that ray of light and you draw a line for it call it my line of sight that could be the third side of the triangle that could be the hypotenuse or the third side of the triangle one side the vertical side of the triangle is our pole the horizontal side is the distance between the base of the pole and my eye and the third side is my line of sight perfect so we have a triangle here all we need to do is measure one side of this triangle how do we go about measuring that side the horizontal distance if you see can very easily be measured right i could just start at the base of the pole and walk up to here and measure it it's a distance on the ground very simple to measure so this distance we can measure let's say we measure it and it's 30 meters now the height of the pole let's say the pole is high we cannot reach the top you're not going to do pole climbing right so we cannot practically measure the height of the pole if we cannot measure the height of the pole neither can we measure the distance of the hypotenuse because it's the same logic correct again you need to reach the top of the pole to be able to measure the hypotenuse so it's not going to be practically possible to measure the hypotenuse if we could if we could then you would simply use pythagoras theorem if you could measure the hypotenuse you would use pythagoras theorem to find out the height but that doesn't work right if you could measure the hypotenuse you could very easily measure the height itself so we cannot measure the hypotenuse what else can we measure now remember we are talking about trigonometry trigonometry is something to do with angles one angle is any way a right angle triangle which is why we can apply trigonometry in this triangle can we measure one more angle can we measure this angle as i look up at this pole my line of sight can you measure the angle of my line of sight with respect to the horizontal can you measure this angle seems difficult right almost impossible try looking at objects around are you ever able to say what is the angle at which you are looking not really right instead of the naked eye let me take a binocular at my eye level let me fix it to a post and the post has a protractor right so i can measure the angle at which my binocular is turning now imagine keeping it at 0 degrees so i'm looking straight down and i'm going to be able to see the base of the pole i slowly move the binocular up as i see more and more of the pole and i keep moving it up until i finally see the top of the pole stop it there i stop it there now if i measure the angle at which the binocular is with respect to the ground i can easily measure the angle i already had a protractor fixed here right so i can easily measure the angle so this angle we now know right let's say it's 60 degrees so now we know this angle is 60 degrees and the base this distance this length is 30 meters now in this triangle now in this triangle can we very easily measure the height we can very easily measure the height it's a right angle triangle correct it's a right angle triangle so one side is going to be with respect to this angle if this angle was angle theta with respect to this angle the base is going to be the adjacent side and the height of the pole is going to be the opposite side what is the trigonometric ratio that connects the adjacent side and the opposite side what's the trigonometric ratio that connects the adjacent side and the opposite side tan theta or cot theta right So let's take tan theta. What is tan theta? Tan theta is nothing but opposite side upon adjacent side. In this case, we measured our theta to be sixty degrees. So you will get tan of sixty is the height of the pole. Let's say is h h by this distance. We measured it as thirty meters. So it's h by thirty. Tan sixty is h by thirty. So h will be thirty into tan sixty. Tan sixty, you know, is root three. 
So the height of the pole is 30 root 3 meters. We have our answer, right? Now, if you replace this pole with a mountain, doesn't matter, correct? Doesn't matter, the height of the mountain would be the exact same logic, the exact same way in which you would measure it. So that's how you use trigonometry to measure very large heights and distances. You measure one distance, you measure one distance which is manageable, and then measure an angle, which helps you measure large heights such as the height of this pole or the height of a peak. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.